Hi guys, Miss Amy here with Frederick County Public Libraries and welcome to this edition of Kitchen Chemistry uh, where you take things from around your kitchen and turn them into things that you never thought existed. Today we are going to make lava lamps. Uh, things that you're going to need from your kitchen. You are going to need some vegetable oil or some type of oil that you have, cooking oil, just cheap kind, whatever you have. We are going to need some food coloring. I chose green for today. We need water. I measured out a half a cup of water into my measuring cup already. We need anti-antacid tablets or uh, fizzy tablets. Ask your grown up, they might have some in their, um, in their medicine cabinet. And you also need a clear vase or a clear drinking glass or something along those lines. So the first thing that you guys are going to do is you're going to take your vegetable oil and you are going to pour it into your vase. Fill it up. I'm going to fill mine up to about right there. It's a lot of vegetable oil. And then you're going to take your water and you're going to pour your water into your vegetable oil. Now, as you can see, you see how all the bubbles are forming, but the water is starting to sink down to the bottom. And that's because the water has a higher density than the oil does. So it's gonna separate and go all the way down into the bottom of the oil. It won't mix together. Water and oil do not mix. Then you're gonna take your food coloring and I'm going to drop some food coloring into the mixture. One, two, three, and you can keep going. Now look how it goes down. Do you guys see how the food coloring is going down to the bottom? So the food coloring has a higher density than the oil. So it's separating and it's going down to the bottom where the water was. So as you can see down at the bottom, if you can see the bubbles down there and it's going down. Now comes the fun part. You're gonna take your antacid tablet and you're gonna drop it into the water and let's see what happens. You can see it automatically sinks down into the water and you can start seeing the bubbles rise. I'm gonna drop my other one in there too, just to give it a little bit more of an effect to see what happens. We'll have more bubbles. So as you can see, the bubbles are automatically moving up. And so what's happening is those antacid bubbles are, the antacid tablets are releasing carbon dioxide and it's taking the water and oil mix and or from the bottom, the water and the food coloring mix and moving it around. And it gives you a lava lamp. The cool thing about this is, is once your tablets stop, they dissolve all the way, you can add another tablet in there and then you can reuse this over and over again. You guys, I would love to see your lava lamps. Show me what you guys made and what different colors you used and how well it worked. Show me all your bubbles moving around. Make sure that you tag us at hashtag FCPL so I can see what you made in your kitchen. Bye guys.